Hey, this is Tyler Sweat, Accessible Media Specialist for the Iowa Library for the Blind and Physically Handicapped. And today I'm going to be going over our third video in our series of how to use BARD. Today we're talking about how to download books onto a cartridge and then how to play those cartridges in your NLS player if it's not a usual cartridge that we send. So if it's a normal thumb drive, something like that, we will show you how to use that. If you haven't watched the other videos and you have not signed up for BARD, I'll put a link in the description as well as in the top corner that you can click on that and go back and watch how to sign up for BARD and how to download BARD Express, which is the program that we are using today. So once you sign in to BARD Express, you're going to go ahead, and if you have not downloaded a book, you're going to go find a book, or you can go to your wish list. So I'll go to my wish list. I have a couple here. Remember, anytime you add anything here, you can find it later and then download it if you don't have room on your computer. So I'm going to just select one of these books. And there's a lot of different choices on here. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. And there's two buttons. It's a download button and remove from wish list. So I'm going to click download. It's saying that there's now one item downloading. So then I'm going to go back to the main menu. And if I click on download status on the bottom, in the first bottom of the first column, it says there's one book downloading, and then it has the how far along it is. So now that the book is done downloading, you're going to go to Bookshelf. Here's listed anything that you have downloaded. So it could be an audiobook, could be a magazine, could be a braille book. Any of those things are all going to exist here once they are downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click audiobooks. So I have two in here right now. So I'm going to go ahead, and the first one that's already selected, I'm going to click Copy to Cartridge. So this is the A drive. This is the one that I have plugged in right now. It's just a thumb drive. It says how much room is free as well as how many books are on the drive. There's no books on this yet. So I'm going to click OK, and it'll transfer this onto the cartridge. So once it copies, it's going to give you an option of ejecting the drive. If you're not going to copy any more books onto it, you can click Yes. Uh, I'm going to click No because we're going to go back to that menu. And uh, in the second column at the bottom, it's a button called Manage Devices. If you go ahead and click on that, it'll find the USB that you have plugged in. So this is Drive A and con uh, contains one book. So if we click on that, it should show you the list of books that are on there. So that's important to, just to know that it is on there. Now, in order to check the file to make sure that it all went well, while it's still plugged in, if you select the checkbox that is next to the title, and then on the bottom menu, it says Validate Books. If you go ahead and click that, what it's going to do is that it's, it's going to say that it is valid and there's no missing or corrupt files. So nothing happened during the downloading or the copying onto the cartridge. So it is a good idea, especially if you get a lot of books on there, to make sure you click on the books and validate them just to make sure that you're not missing any files. So from here, then you're going to click Eject Drive. And you can go ahead and remove your USB. And then from here, you're going to put it into the player. So if you're using one of the normal cartridges that we send you, you're just going to put that in normally. Even if you download books from BARD onto it, that's, that doesn't change at all. So what changes if you're using like a smaller thumb drive, like a USB thumb drive? That's when you have to flip the machine up on its side, and just above the plug-in for the headphones, there's a small port. Sometimes there's a plastic piece you have to take off, and in behind there is the USB plug-in. Now once you plug that in, as long as there's not a cartridge in the front, once you turn the player on, It'll play the books on the cartridge. Thanks for watching.